Welcome to the Highway 360. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to instantiate an object in Oracle by using a default constructor. Now if you don't know the meaning of instantiation and constructor, you can watch my last video, the introduction to Oracle Optic Type, which cover the basics of uh, Oracle Optic Type and some terminologies in object orientation. Okay, let's uh, create an object. I'm going to create this object. The object I'm going to create is called the employee type and with five attributes. And I'm going to create a table which has the column pointing to the object type we just created. And I'm going to create a sequence number for populating the employee ID. Okay. Over here, um, this bit of code is demonstrate how you declare the object, how you instantiate, and how you're going to output the uh, attributes, the value of the attributes. So in here, you declare the object for that object type, and in here, that's how you instantiate the object. Now, this is the default constructor. But how do I tell it is? First of all, the constructor name, uh, regardless whether it's a default or is been overridden or overloaded, it must have the same name as the object type. Okay. Secondly, uh, for default constructor, the number of parameters you're going to pass into uh, default constructor must equal to the number of attributes we got here. In this case we have 5 here and we also got 5 here. To access the attribute all you have to do is to declare the object with a dot and point to the attributes that you want. Okay, so let's give it a go. Here you can see the um, attributes and the value of it. Okay, I'm going to give you a second uh, example here. Um, this is uh, to insert the object into the table that we defined here. Okay. Now there are two ways to do it. One is like uh, the example um, we got in here, which defined the object or declare the object and then you uh, instantiate the object and then you just insert into the table by putting the object in as the part of value. The second method is to a straight insert but by calling the default constru uh, constructor um, in the value. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, let's see what's in the table. You can see that in the table you got two objects there. Um, you got the schema and the object, but you can't really see the attributes. Um, to do that, you need um, a member function to retrieve the data for you, which I'm not going to cover in this video, but it will be covered in the next video. So. This gives you the basic idea in terms of like, how to instantiate an object and how you access it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.